What is up Africana fam? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the ultimate melt, how to make your lace front toe look like scalp. So if you're tired of walking around with lifting lace in 2023, this video is for you. So if you wanna see in depth from start to finish how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. All right, everyone, so starting off with this install, we're gonna start off with the ball cap method. This is a bunch of wig caps that I got off of Amazon. I'll leave the link down below, but I got it in dark brown, and I'll be using my hair diagram bold hold liquid gold. And I like to use this to lay down my edges. So I like to work in sections. I'm going to go ahead and work on one section and use my baby hair brush just to brush that gel into my hair and hold it into place and use my blow drying on medium heat. And I'm going to do that for the following other sections. Now you wanna make sure when you're brushing it, you're also smearing it with your fingers and holding it into place so that your hair doesn't shrivel up, especially if you are 4C texture like me. And I'm using it on medium heat and holding it into place just so that it could dry properly. And I'm going to do this all over my hairline. And overall, this is how your hairline should look like. Just pulled away and clean for your install. Now, once we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and pull the wig cap forward. I like to pull it as much as you can just so that it could thin out the material of the wig cap. The more you stretch, the more thinner that the wig cap will look, giving you that scalp-like effect. Now, taking my shears, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little small cut into the ear piece of my wig cap. And I like to just go ahead and use my finger just to go around the hole to fit my ear into the hole. And that's how I make sure that the hole isn't too big or too small for me. Again, you're just going to go ahead and cut a small hole. And once you see that your ear lobe could fit it, then you go ahead and just kind of use your finger to roll around it. And that's how I make sure that it is nice and flat. You want to make sure that those ear taps are nice and flat against your skin, as you guys see right here. And now I'm going back in with the bold hold look of gold, and I'm going in sections, and I'm going to go ahead and outline my hairline uh, just to adhere the wig cap onto my skin. And the bold hold look of gold is not... A glue it is a gel which is perfectly safe for your edges uh, one thing you do not want to do is to do the ball cap method with actual glue because you're gonna end up putting it on your edges causing possible breakage to your hairline and you do not want that so when I'm doing this I like to use the nozzle as like my guide and then my fingers just to smear it down just so that it's nice and flat and there's no bubbles in the gel Now to make the drying process quicker, I'm going to go in with my blow dryer on medium heat and I'm just going to go ahead and go around my hairline for about a minute or so and then let it air dry. And you want to make sure that your wig cap dries completely dry before you start cutting it off. So I waited about 15 minutes or until it's completely dry to cut it. Now once I'm cutting it, I like to cut in sections. I start in the middle first, then I go into the temples and then my ears last. And when I'm cutting the ears, I make sure that I don't cut it all the way because when you cut it all the way off, you cause um, it to actually um, come up and you do not want that. So I like to just let it sit and I like to save and cut that for last. So now that I cut it into sections, I'm using my eyebrow razor and I'm lifting up the excess wig cap up all the way up until where the gel ends at 
and I'm just lifting it up gently and then using my razor just to razor it off. And this would just help you ensure that there's no fray ends and there's no extra wig cap laying around. Because sometimes the wig cap tends to fray when you're cutting it. So lifting it up and then cutting it where the gel is and where it's adhered at ensures that it's laying nice and flat. So again, lift it up all the way up to where the gel is at. You don't, you don't want to tug it. Just lift it up lightly and cut it off. Now I'm cutting off those little ear pieces just so that it doesn't ravel upwards. And now on to the last section, which is the ears. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. You want to make sure that you're using a pretty new razor just so it cuts nicely against your skin because I'm kind of like grazing it against my skin. And it won't graze if it's dull. You want to make sure that it's pretty sharp. Now to clean off the excess gel, I'm using my isopropyl alcohol in 91% and I'm just using a piece of bounty paper and I'm going to go ahead and just clean off my forehead. You want to make sure that any residue or any dirt or any gel that you have left over on your forehead is nice and removed before we start with the adhesive. And after we are done, these are the finished results of the ball cap method. Now on to our hair sponsor. This hair is sponsored from West Kiss Hair. I have their HD Lace Curly Wave and the 13 by 4 lace and the 24 inches. And this is a 200% density. As you guys can see, this wig is super thick. I went ahead and tinted the lace and also bleached the knots off camera. And this hairline does come pre-plucked. I barely plucked it and it's nice and beautifully plucked. So once I have the wig on my head, I like to go ahead and cut in the temple areas of the lace all the way up to near the hairline. And I like to do this just so it could give me wiggle room of when I am pulling onto the lace. Now on to cutting off the excess lace around the ear area. I like to go ahead and use my comb just to carve out where my ear is at and then use my shears just to cut around where I carved out any excess lace or hair. And once I've done that on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and roll up the hair. And now I'll be using my Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive System. This is the adhesive skin guard that I'm using. And I'm going to spray that on my hairline just to protect my skin with the glue. And then I'll be using the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. And this is the watermelon flavor. Now when it comes to the glue, I like to go in zigzag motions and I like to go on the cap and also a bit on my skin. And I'm going in with my rat tail comb. I'm using the metal piece just to smear down the glue. And I actually like to work in sections now because this glue tends to dry fast. And you do not want your glue to dry clumpy. So you want to go ahead and go in sections. Again, I'm just getting some of the glue onto the wig cap and onto my actual skin. But more on the wig cap than actually my skin. And then I'm using the metal piece of my rat tail comb just to smear it out. And you wanna make sure that it is nice and flat. And one thing that I do notice about people with their installs as to why it doesn't last is that the width of the glue is thin. As you can see, the width of my glue is about probably like a half an inch to probably an inch wide. And this just helps your wig to have more to grab onto when it comes to the glue. So again, you want to make sure that, that your width is about that wide. Now for the sake of the video, I am only doing two layers, but if you want to have a super lasting hold for about two to three weeks, I will suggest you to do three to four layers. But two layers work for me and honestly can last me a week to two weeks as well too. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that on the other side. And you wanna make sure that your glue dries completely clear before you apply another layer. P please, for the life of you, do not apply your lace onto white glue or wet 
glue. You want to make sure that it's dry completely clear before you apply the lace on there. And again, I'm just making sure that everything is spread out. Uh, you want to make sure that there is no bubbles or bumps in the glue. And working in sections just help you make sure that um, you're able to smear everything down without it getting bubbly. And then this is my second layer. Now, once that layer has dried clear, as you guys can see, I'm now going to go ahead and use the middle section of my section and I'm going to go ahead and place the hairline in front of the glue. You don't want it behind it or right on top of it, but in front of it. And you can simply just tell where like it's shiny at. You want to make sure that it is in front of where it is shiny at. And that's just how I use like my guidelines. So I start with the middle first and then I'm going to go ahead and start with the sides. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of tacking it down once I have where I need it to be pushed at. And then I go on to the next section. So I do the middle, the temple, and then the ear in a sense. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and tack down the temple when it's, once it's right in front of the glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and tackle the ear part. And this will just also help you to make sure that um, the lace is not rippling as well. You don't want to apply it too fast or just all at once because you could possibly have your lace ripple on you and that is a no-go. You want to make sure that it's nice and spread out and it's nice and even. And once I have it placed to where I want it to be placed at, I'm going to go ahead and use my hands just to press it down to secure it down and it doesn't move. Now, once that is done, I'm going to go in with my eyebrow razor and I'm going to cut right in front of the hairline. I'm going to use my eyebrow razor to cut in a jagged motion. You want to make sure that you're not cutting straight across or just, you know, in a straight line because you do not want that hairline or like a shape up type effect. You want it to look like scalp and want it to mesh in. So cutting in a zigzag or jagged motion will help. Uh, disguise the lace even more and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on each side Now, since we place the lace in front of the glue, we do have some lifting lace around the hairline, which is perfectly fine. I wanted that. And to solve this, I like to use a bit of the glue, put it on my hand, and then use the tip of my rat tail comb. And I'm going to go ahead and to glue down the rest of the lace. And I like this method because I really get into the nitty gritty details of the lace and make sure that everything is tacked down and you want to make sure that everything is tacked down because if you do have lifting lace it is very visible and when you put on makeup you can see that it's actually lifting and it's not like you know cohesive or adhesive <laughs> so again i go in with two layers and i'm using the metal tip of my rat tail comb and i'm using it to kind of outline where my lace ends at and i'm just using that to outline it and I'm going to do two layers, let it dry completely before I um, smear it down. And I like to use my comb just to kind of press it into the glue.
And now I'm just going to go ahead and follow that same trend all over the hairline or where I have any lifting lace. And I'm just using the tip just to outline it again, like I said. Smear it out. Make sure that those layers dry completely clear before you add another one. And then smear it down with the back of your comb. Now that that's done, as you guys can see, I have like a white cast. I'm going in with my foundation and I'm just pressing it in. Um, I'm not putting too much because you don't want too much. But yeah, I'm just put, putting it in just so it could blend in better on my skin before we melt it even more. So now onto the styling. I'm just using my Cara Cara Wax Stick. I already have my hair parted into a middle part. And I'm just, you know, you know, just pressing it down, making sure it's nice and flat. But onto the baby hairs. Now I'm carving out some baby hairs. I'm carving out four baby hairs. So it's two near the temple areas and two near the air slash tendril areas. And I'm just using the hot comb just to kind of press out that hairline so it's nice and flat. And this hairstyle I have been seeing, it's been trending on TikTok, social media, all over the place. I wanted to try it out. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the hair in a diagonal. Well, not diagonal, uh, horizontal, actually. I'm going to cut it horizontally just so I can do like these um, slick down bangish type vibes. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. But I just prepped my hair for that. And on to further melting my hair, I'm using my Spritz Mega Hold Spray. And I'm going to spray that all around my hairline. This just helps further the melt. You want to make sure that you are melting your lace. And I'm going to go ahead and use an elastic band. And I let this sit for actually an hour. Um, you want to make sure that you at least do this for 20 plus minutes. But I actually let it sit for an hour because I was busy doing things. And yeah. Um, but now back into the styling, I'm just going to go ahead and just make sure everything is nice and flat in those little bangish areas and then use my got to be spray just to make sure that it's nice and flat. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it in a ponytail in the back of my hair. I tucked it behind my ear and then put it in a ponytail. Um, but now on to working with the baby hairs. I'm just pressing it out with my hot comb to make sure it's nice and straight and pluck out any excess hair that I have on the baby hairs. Now for the baby hairs, what I like to do is I like to kind of carve out where I'm gonna, how I'm gonna soup my baby hairs actually, and then hold it to where it ends at and then use my razor just to cut it off. So as you guys can see, I swooped it. You're gonna hold it where it's at and literally cut where in front of your hand. that is how you can tell how long your baby hairs are or how it should be and as for the ear part i just like to cut right below where the ear lobe is at and now i'm using my tvix flat iron this flat iron is available on amazon i got it off of amazon this is the 3 8 inch one and i'm just going to go ahead and curl it upwards this just helps form the baby hair and gives it um, form, especially for my beginners. If you have trouble doing baby hairs freehandedly, this is a perfect way of doing your baby hairs. And I'm going in with the spritz and a my baby hair brush. And what I like to do is I like to comb and then hold and comb and hold and kind of swoop it into place. So when I'm combing, I'm holding the root of it just so that it doesn't lift up and then brush the rest of it and just swoop it into the hairline. And it's pretty simple. It's all on the wrist. So again, when you're, you know, brushing it, you're holding it as well too, so it's nice and flat. I'm just brushing it into the hairline so it looks nice and um, together. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the ones at the ear. 
Now, this is optional, but this actually helps further the melt though. I'm using my Nairobi setting lotion and I'm just gonna go ahead and just re, um, you know, curl those baby hairs. I just like to use a setting lotion because um, it just makes it more flatter for me. Sometimes just the spritz alone, it still kind of lifts up a little bit for the baby hairs, I mean. So I just like to use my Nairobi setting lotion just to really set those baby hairs into place and also apply around my hairline as well too. And this also helps further the melt. And once I'm done with that, I'm just applying some of it in front where like the rest of my lace is exposed at just to help further um, our melt. This just gives you the ultimate melt, okay? And then I'm using the headband again and I'm letting that sit for 20 minutes. And once that is done, as you guys can see, the lace is melted, okay? And to fix up my um, part, I just like to go in with my Clairol Root Touch Up. And this is in the color um, dark brown. And as y'all can see, y'all, like this lace is laid. West Kiss did their thing with the AC lace. West Kiss is also known for a good HD lace. I've They haven't failed me yet when it comes to their HD lace. All right, but now on to finishing off this hairstyle that will make up off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, part out some of the hair to put into a fake little ponytail. So um, before I put it in a ponytail, I kind of like leave the little ball. So almost as if like you're pulling the ponytail, but halfway through and just leave it there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just leave some of the hair that's standing out in front and then I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my mousse just to define my curls. And then once we are done, I'm gonna go ahead and comb out my baby hairs and then just form them. And after we are done with that, these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not. Go ahead and click that bell to get notified when I drop videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Later.